Vasconcelos leads North Ants back against Glamorgan. The three centuries from Labuschan, Root and Carlson for Glamorgan was the first time the county had enjoyed three centurions in an innings for 29 years. The last trio messes Morris, Maynard and a certain Ivy Richards. The latest edition had seen Glamorgan bat themselves into a very dominant position on the opening day of their match with Northamptonshire and with both Root and Carlson still at the crease it looked as though day two in Cardiff could be equally arduous for the visitors. Root was on 126 overnight but fell without adding to that tally when he was caught by Vasconcelos off Proctor. It brought Glamorgan skipper Cook to the crease and he was quickly off the mark. Carlson continued where he'd left off on day one and soon the score was past 450. However, moments later Carlson was back in the hutch, caught by Wakeley off Buck for a superb and rapid 111. 457 for 6 became 480 for 7 when Wag was bowled by Sanderson for 14. Cook was striking the ball beautifully up the other end and a glorious punch down the ground off Proctor brought up the 500. Delanger was another batsman to fall cheaply. He was caught by Muzurabani off Holder for 12. But that just brought in Van der Guten and he was in no mood to hang around. Nor was his skipper who dispatched Holder for a huge six over square leg to reach his half century. Rocking along at a runner ball, the pair saw play through to lunch at 570 for 8, which included a partnership of 59 between Cook and Van der Guten, with the former unbeaten on 70. However, Cook was in no mood to bat after the interval, instead declaring on 570 and giving his bowlers a crack at the Northamptonshire openers. It soon became clear, however, that this was definitely a wicket for the batsman. Ricardo Vasconcelos and Rob Newton opened the batting for the visitors and after playing themselves in it was Vasconcelos who looked to move things along with some glorious boundaries and Vasconcelos was soon celebrating his half century. He and Newton kept the scoreboard ticking over to T, reaching the interval having just brought up the 100 partnership. Into the evening and there was little respite for the home attack. It didn't matter who Skipper Cook turned to Vasconcelos and Newton had the answer. Newton moved to 50 and the team total went past 150. The day was being headlined by Vasconcelos though and he brought up his fourth first class century in just the 60th over of the innings. Newton finished the day 85 not out with Vasconcelos unbeaten on 125. The total 234 without loss, but still 336 runs shy of Glamorgan's first innings total.